He's Dan Wetzel from Yahoo Sports, joining us as we try to make sense of Johnny Manziel 2.0. What What is Manziel accused of, Dan? Manziel is accused of uh, making a deal last January in Florida of uh, getting paid a, quote, flat fee of five figures to sign uh, memorabilia and apparently 999 photos of himself, which are then put out on the, uh, the memorabilia market and, and sold. What? Uh, I, how big of an NCAA violation is this, if all true? Well, it is a... <laughs> In their parlance, this would be an eligibility issue. So he would be, based on the precedent of the Ohio State case, where they were basically trading memorabilia uh, for money and, uh, and of course, the famous tattoos, those players received five games. That was Terrell Pryor and some of those other guys. So it could be a five-game suspension. Now, there isn't any apparent enforcement scandal here, which is how they would turn, because unlike Ohio State, we have no allegation right now that Texas A&M knew. Ohio State coach Jim Tressel knew about this and played the guys an entire season anyway, even though he knew they would probably be ineligible if he had turned it in. So it's, a, it's not a case for Texas A&M, but it could sit Johnny football for the first five games or up to five games of the season. Obviously, the big one being the third game of the season, which is when Texas A&M hosts Alabama. But these things take a little while to flush out. If you go back to Cam Newton with A.J. Green selling his jersey, how long do you think this takes before we get resolution? You know, it, 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 that, that's always a good question. It shouldn't take that long. Uh, I mean, Manziel's either going to say, no, I didn't do it, or yes, I did. Uh, the NCAA can try to find the other people who will rat them out. I don't anticipate there's going to be a big interest in just guys who are in the memorabilia market for doing that. They can go through his bank records and see if money, you know, he, he mysteriously deposited, say, a $25,000 check, but I doubt if he, if he does that, then he's suspended for being stupid. Um, you know, it, it shouldn't take more than a month to, to deal this out. They should have resolution before the season starts at this point, uh, or at least until the Alabama game. So, you know, we'll, we will see, but I, I don't think it's an easy case for the NCAA in any way because all we have from ESPN are unnamed sources coming forward saying this happened, uh, and none of them being the central players. Nobody saw the money exchange hands. That those guys don't normally then talk to NCAA investigators. Yeah, but you don't have somebody signing a thousand autographs after they've told numerous interviewers that they hate signing autographs unless <laughs> there's money. I mean, it, it, his yeah. words are going to be used against him. And this is also Johnny saying, I come from money. I don't need money to go to all these different sporting events and all these different concerts here. So it's you now there, there's uh, conflicting messages being sent with all of this. Yeah, well, he can sign a thousand autographs for one guy. He just can't be paid for that. So there's nothing wrong with signing. He could have sat down and said, yeah, I signed them all. This guy seemed like a nice guy, and I just wanted to do him a favor. Mm -hmm. Are you going to believe that? No. Well, you know, yeah. no, but maybe not. But until you can prove he got the money, then there's no violation. It's really a matter of what, whether, look, Manziel may say, I didn't do this at all. This is all false. Or let's, you know, for the purpose of this conversation, say he did do it. And he's just going to say, prove it. And uh, they're going to have a hard time proving it. Now, I agree with you on, on the – I don't think Manziel – Manziel is going to be a sympathetic figure in some places because people are going to say, as I agree, I think these guys should be able to sign things and get paid. This is, this is America, and, and this is the Olympic model, and let these guys – cash in a little bit. This isn't a school paying a player if the market wants but to But there's a Johnny. rule in place, Dan. That, right, I mean, right. you, no, I, I don't the like the – yeah, we don't like the rule, but you, well, you uh, still uh, you have to you have to abide by it. Yeah, I, I'm with you. For him to do this, if he did this, is completely reckless, not only to himself, but all of his teammates and his, and, you know, his team, which he could blow up their season or greatly affect the Texas A&M's big season – all for some money that he doesn't need. You know, I mean, you, again, you get down to what should I, should do I blame this guy? Do I feel sympathetic? You feel more sympathetic if you're saying, look, my mom's going to lose her house. I need the money. Okay, I, I hear you. Johnny Manziel did not need this cash if this ever happens. So 
there's a lot of angles on this thing. But for him to – he knows the rule. There's no way they didn't know the rule. And for him to, to go and do this if he did it would be really just a reckless behavior by him and really being a poor teammate because you're, it's not just you. You're part of a team. Everyone else is working hard. These are your guys. He talks about how much he loves his teammates. Those are the guys you can count on. And to go out and do this for a little bit of money is, you know, he's not the first person to be offered a chance to sign something for his, for his they're paid to, to, to drop his autograph now. What if he comps to it? He comps to it. I mean, he could get two games. He could get, he, you know, he, he will be suspended if he cops to it. Um, I, my question for him, if I'm Johnny Manziel, is, and this is where I'd actually want to talk to a pro sports agent, which he's allowed to talk to, he's just not allowed to sign with, but what's the best route for the NFL? What does the NFL want to hear? Because if I'm Johnny Manziel, I'm looking long-term on this. Mm. Would they prefer, I just said, I did it, I'm stupid, I stand up tomorrow at a press conference, I'll take my lumps, I apologize, and then get on with it? Or because I don't know if the NFL is ever going to believe he didn't do it. And, and if I'm him, I, 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 you know, you try to negotiate and say, look, give me two games and I'll play the Alabama game. And will the NCAA take that? I, I have no idea. You can never predict with the NCAA. But I, I'm wondering how, how this affects everything. I mean, I don't know if anyone will, if, unless he's completely innocent. And, and again, these are just allegations, but it seems when there's 999 sequentially ordered photos, or sequentially numbered photos out there, um, certainly seems suspicious. Uh, you know, what's the best route long term here? And it may not be just trying to cover up and hope I can play some football. Good stuff, Dan. Thanks for visiting. Thanks, Dan. Take care. Dan Wetzel, columnist, Yahoo Sports. Can you imagine if he's suspended, if he if he's contrite and says to the NCAA, "Look, I did it." Um, they're going to sit him down for maybe two games. The problem is, you got the AJ Green story where he sold his jersey for $1,000, and they sat him down for four games.